It just made it extra special that it was native to native, something like he gets it. A local man honoring his late brother, a fellow Padres fan, the only way he knew how, the moment preserved on camera right on the field of Petco Park after the Padres beat L.A. for the division championship. New at 11, ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill joins us to explain how San Diego's own Joe Musgrove didn't hesitate when it came to fulfilling the wishes of a lifelong fan. Ryan. Yeah, guys, you know, Ryan Miller and his family poured all of their fandom into the Padres after the Chargers left town. Now he'll never miss a Padres game with his late brother after this amazing act for one of San Diego's own. He was my brother, my dad, my boss, my mentor, my inspiration, and, and he was that for a lot of people. It's an understatement to say Ryan Miller and his brother Kevin were close. Kevin was uh, one of the brightest lights I've ever seen. And he shared his light as a firefighter and started a surf school in Hawaii. It was a small island, and you could just tell by the, the people that showed up to his paddle out. It was one man it could change a lot of lives. Sadly, Kevin's life was cut short in 2019 after battling mental health. Ryan tells us his family has an unyielding passion for all things San Diego. Ben, yeah, we went to many Padre games, went to many Charger games, born and raised around sports and football and baseball and season tickets. And, you know, it was just it's the thing that always brought the city and my family together. But Saturday's closeout game to the National League Division Series grew more special inning by inning. My nephew texts me and goes, hey, Kev's, Kev's here. I'm like, what do you mean? He sends me a picture of a rainbow over the stadium. So they call it a rain delay, but I'm going to go with Aloha delay. And like the old saying goes, great things come in threes. For the first time in 24 years, the San Diego Padres are headed to the National League Championship Series. I've never heard a roar like that right after that last pitch. First the rainbow, then a division series win. And then the San Diego native called on the hometown kid, Joe Musgrove, for some help. And sure enough, I see Joe coming up. And I just laser focused. I go, Joe, I got something for you. He goes, what's that? I'm like, you know, my brother passed away and, you know, he wanted his ashes on the field here. So he could help me out. And he goes, absolutely. A moment that Ryan says he couldn't have scripted any better. Watching that happen, it just, it just felt like, hey, Kev, you know, like he was there. So uh, it, was, it was a magical, magical moment. And I just massive gratitude to Joe. Musgrove's move, making sure that the Millers will always be together with the team they cherish. It's just going to be that much more special. I mean, any time I'm wearing brown and gold or I see that SD logo, it's just it's an extra reminder that he's always there. With his brother's ashes now forever at Petco, Ryan's message to those struggling with mental health and their families is simple. Just talk. Get rid of the stigma. Don't be afraid to talk about it, especially us guys. You know, it's guys and emotion has always been a weakness, but now we're going into we're, we're going into a new consciousness level. It's, it's time to, to talk about it and get some support. Pretty hard not to be romantic about baseball with stories like that. Reporting live here in the studio, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.